Today I'll be going over the process of using Microsoft Excel 2016 to calculate grades in a class. This will allow someone to enter their grade percentages for various assignments to see what their overall grade in the class is. For the sake of simplicity, the example I will be using will consist of four tests, five projects, and ten homeworks. The tests will be worth 40% of the final grade, projects will be worth 40% of the final grade, and homework will be worth 20% of the final grade. You will want to find out the types of assignments you'll be given and how much of your final grade they will be worth, which can usually be found in a class syllabus. You want to enter the assignment types, which in this example is tests, projects, homework, and then you'll want to add the assignment numbers as in test one, project one, homework one, etc. You'll then want to include spots for your assignment type averages, which for me would be test average, projects average, and homework average. And then you'll want to add a spot for your overall class grade. The document should look similar to mine. So the first step is to go to your first assignment average click on the box to the right of it here and then you'll want to go up here to the formula bar and click and then you'll want to type the equal sign and then average and you'll see before I finish typing it the word average will pop up you double click that and it'll fill it in and then after this open parentheses you want to go over to row 2 and click when you see the arrow to highlight the entire row and then you'll close off the parentheses and hit enter. You'll, you'll see that you'll get this error message. And all it means is that the function is trying to divide by zero. That is only because we haven't put in any grades yet. So this will change once we add grades. Now you'll want to go to your next assignment average. Click in this box. Go back up to the formula bar. Type in average. And you'll want to click the row where all the grades for this assignment group will go. And highlight the entire row. Close off the parentheses and hit enter. Now that you have done the equations for all your assignment averages, you want to go to your, your overall class grade. Click on the box to the right of it. And then in the formula bar, you'll want to type the equal sign, two open parentheses, and then you'll want to click on your first average box. For me, N1 would come up. And then you'll want to do the asterisk, which would be the multiply symbol. And you'll want to multiply that box by the weight percentage of that assignment. So for tests, they're worth 40% of the grade, so I will type 0 0.4, and then I will close the parentheses, and then I will add a plus sign, another open parentheses, and then I'll click on the next assignment average box, and multiply that by 0 0.4, since projects are worth 40% of the grade as well. Close parentheses, plus sign, open parentheses, and then click on the final assignment average box. Multiply that by 0 0.2 since homework is worth 20% of the final grade. And then you'll want to close the parentheses and then close the final. And then you'll hit enter and your overall class grade box should look like your other average boxes. Now the only thing left is to add in your grades. I'll skip ahead to when I've added in all the grades. So now that I've added in grades for each category, 
you'll see that over here it'll average out all my test grades all my project grades and all my homework grades and this overall grade will average these while taking into account the weight percentage of each category and it'll give you a final number in this box last thing you want to do is right click on your final grade go to format cells and under the number tab under the number category you want to make sure you have two decimal places to give you the most accurate representation of your current grade you have now successfully calculated your current class grade even if you don't have all your grades in yet for example if I were to delete these it still gives you a live update of your current grade and even if you were to add more it would continuously update if you're not sure how many assignments you have to begin with so that covers it thanks for watching